Every week, 86-year-old Lois Jones performs for an hour on the organ with 91-year-old Marietta Holmes on the piano. The duo performed tunes from the 1920s to the 1950s before an audience at the Good Samaritan Society Las Cruces Village Auditorium. Audience members get to recall some of their favorite songs from that time period, and we recently sat down with Lois Jones to hear some of the hits from her life. She recalls being a child in Las Cruces when there were only two paved roads in the city. Her parents owned and operated a cafe on Main and Picacho in the mid-1930s. It was a polar bear root beer cafe. My mother was a car hop. She had the tables and, of course, the counter. She and my dad, and, of course, they had one helper, a waitress, helped her. And uh, she made ten pies every night. In those days, we had an awful lot of truckers. Pie was a nickel, and coffee was a nickel. Hamburgers were a nickel and a dime. After leaving Las Cruces in her youth, Jones later went on to marry and live in California for a while, and she recalls what her husband said to her when he suggested that they move to Las Cruces. And um, in 1949, he said, you're always talking about that beautiful little town in New Mexico. How much money have we got in the bank? Now, I know, but I'm not going to tell you because it's such a small amount. After returning to the Mesilla Valley, Jones says she was looking for employment and found work as a radio announcer. The woman handed me a, a sheet of paper with a, um advertisement for the one of the little local grocery stores. And she said to me, would you please read this as if you were addressing the public in a manner that you wanted them to make sure they didn't miss out on this wonderful sale on the items this grocery store has. Well, I'd always spoken up and school and did a lot of speaking, but I, I kind of put that into my head. And uh, she said, she flicked her little finger like that. She said they need a radio announcer at radio station KOBE. Jones says while working at a local radio station in Las Cruces, she would help area families celebrate birthdays. And Jean Savage and I uh, me on the piano on Saturday and him with his guitar. We did the what they called the birthday party for Las Cruces, where parents had written in saying my son or my daughter. The local ice cream parlor would furnish ice cream. The bake one of the bakeries furnished a beautiful cake, and F. W. Woolworth gave a cute little prize, five cent or I'm sure, wrapped beautifully. We did that all those years. And to me, I've never forgotten the beauty of radio. It's still, I still have one and I still listen. Lois Jones and her husband later moved to Missouri. They raised a family and they became pilots. And they also started a trucking company where they began hauling for the U.S. government and major companies. Jones remembers life on the road. Our first load to haul for the U.S. government was an attack atomic activator for the Scorpion submarine. And the value of it was tremendous. And if we weren't busy with them, we hauled for Walt Disney. We hauled all of Thunder Mountain, many loads to complete Thunder Mountain. And of course, we were pilots both of us, we had a Cessna 150, and we flew a Cessna 210. And we knew Sam Walton because he had a Walmart in Missouri, and his airplane was hangered next to ours. And he became a personal friend. And we hauled one or two loads for him, and then he got big enough that he bought his own trucks. <laughs> As Lois Jones looks back on her life, she says she has fond memories. 
Just like the ones that she and Marietta Holmes bring back to folks each Thursday afternoon when they perform. For KRWG, I'm Anthony Morano.